Hi everyone and welcome to Rebellion. My name's Robbie and in a second we're going to be chatting with Tim and Mike from the Sniper Elite 3 team to announce some really exciting new single player and multiplayer content. But before then we just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's bought the game. Um, you've helped us get to number one in the UK and loads of charts across the world and it's just been a, such an exciting month for the studio. Reading everyone's comments, reading all the reviews um, and seeing what you thought of the game. But let's have a quick sneak peek now at um, some really cool stuff that we've been working on since launch. I'm with Mike Howell, the lead designer on Sniper Elite 3, and Mike and I are going to chat to you very quickly about Airfield, which is a brand new multiplayer map. It's going to be free uh, for whatever platform you play Sniper Elite 3 on. And um, yeah, Mike, could you explain to us a little bit uh, about what, what we can expect when you're uh, playing Airfield and multiplayer? Sure thing, buddy. Well, um, a lot of the fans might be familiar with Airfield from the single player campaign. And we've taken this airfield and absolutely obliterated it now. So the, the hangars have been torn apart. There's been a bombing run which has gone down the, the center of the airfield. We've introduced these nice little sort of flanking routes underneath the airfield that you can furtively duck under and, and flank your opponents. And we've got a lot of new sniping positions which we've introduced uh, throughout the map as well, which the players will have a bit of fun trying to find those new ones uh, in the environment. Yeah, sure, great. So do you have any um, tips on certain areas p players should be looking out for? Definitely, well, uh, up in the sort of rafters in the in the hangars is a good one to try and get up into, but make sure you're protecting your flanks there. Um, we've got a lot of nice soft cover around the edge of the map, so players who are getting getting down and dirty with the ghillie suit will enjoy using some of the brush and foliage to, to snipe players from up in the hills and, and see how the tactics go there. Okay, great. Um, well, uh, something we haven't talked about is actually this is only the first of uh, a set of new free multiplayer maps that will be coming out across the summer. Um, could, you, um, could you give uh, the Sniper fans a kind of a, a quick preview of what they can expect, what's coming up? Sure, well we've got a, a very sort of uh, interesting, unique tropical uh, map which has a lot of dense foliage, a couple secret spots around the external perimeter as well. Uh, we've got a high altitude map which is actually kind of three spires and they're, they're separated with the sort of like old ruined sort of dry riverbed and lots of tank carcasses and that sort of thing and um, you know it's really sort of interesting dynamic when we've been playing that with the studio up north and uh, the final one's kind of just a, a ruinous sort of battlefield with a, a bit of a, a seascape around the outside of it. But again, you know, there's lots of great vantage points for the player to take advantage of there as well. Great, sounds like a lot of fun. Um, brilliant, thanks Mike. Uh, moving on to single player, we've had a dedicated team of designers working on some brand new single player content for you. It's a three part mission series called Save Churchill and here's Head of Creative Tim Jones to tell you a little bit more about it. Well, Save Churchill is a set of three new single player downloadable content missions that form a little mini campaign in which you're playing as Carl Fairburn trying to thwart a German plot to assassinate Winston Churchill himself in the run up to the famous Casablanca conference. Well, we've got some really exciting stuff over the three levels. The first is actually a return to the popular SeaWorld Oasis mission, but this time it's at night. It's more overgrown, time has passed, it's been bombed out. It'll play very differently to what players have experienced before. Uh, in the later levels, we move into a secret weapons facility. There's like a stunning coliseum in one of the missions, which is actually the largest environment we've created in any of the Sniper Elite games ever, which you know, I think is going to blow people away. For experienced Sniper Elite players that have been through the campaign, they'll be looking for some uh, new experiences. So we've got new encounters, new weapons, new unit types, and uh, the new missions are, I think are really going to feel very different. The first mission is called Save Churchill Part 1 in Shadows. Uh, we'll be releasing Parts 2 and 3 later in the summer. So that was a sneak peek at the new Save Churchill missions for Sniper Elite 3. But the only thing we haven't told you is when you're going to get to play all this new content both um, the new airfield multiplayer map and Save Churchill Part 1 in Shadows are available right now on Steam for PC and if you've got consoles they'll be coming out very soon on those too. Uh, remember we've got loads more content coming this summer and uh, we'll see you in the forums.